Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the gun, Jackson forced out to his left. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? He will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. They run with Taylor. Tackled there by Monte Nicholson. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank but you. here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Here's a carry for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down and put a touchdown out on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. 
And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The NFC's decision to go for it does not pan out. And as a result, possession switches hands. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Chase Young in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. On the stop. It's a gain of two. Third down and 13. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone. And that's a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. begin their next drive here the NFC offense and last time they were very fortunate this offense they went for it on four turned it over in their own territory but the other guys held up they didn't give up any points so how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines the head coach that was planned going into it not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. trusted his defense trusted his defense very much and I think that that's how he's going to play this game Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away.
up third down and 15. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. Flushed out right. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown. George Kittle, 58 yards. And the NFC able to widen their advantage. Now for the point after. This is good as they extend it out now to a 9-0 lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. It just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. On second down, it's Taylor. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Jackson on first down. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. After the sack here, second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Jackson. Trying to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, and he will return this one to the 30-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? You had a horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now a play fake, Brady. This will be caught, it's Waddle. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. That one covers 29 yards, first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're gonna give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A first down carry for Barkley. 
There's a nice move. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Steps away to his left. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Calvin Ridley there to make the grab. And the NFC adds on to their lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The offense for the AFC set to go now. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that level <laughs> and not of that age. But I remember, I, was looking, going for the age, right? I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Now a give to Taylor. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second down, another run with Taylor. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. First and ten. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A give for Taylor running right side. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Aaron Donald picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now the NFC going to call the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. the offense isn't going anywhere they're going to go for it on fourth and seven now it's Jackson and he's brought down can't do anything with a football it's a sack and a turnover on downs the AFC went for it and it doesn't work out and that will force a turnover on downs First down, Brady. Eluding the pressure right. And a 
an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. And it's intercepted. He was trying to give it to Wrigley. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Escaping the pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. He'll dump this off to Taylor complete. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Jackson on third and long. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And touchdown. Anthony Schwartz as the first half is winding down. And the AFC able to cut into the lead. Wouldn't be the Pro Bowl without the QBs taking some shots, and that shot paid off. He understood, I don't know if it's instinctively, if he did his homework, that you do take your shots, as you said, in this game, because the payoff is terrific. We will remember how many touchdown passes you throw. I don't think we ever recall how many interceptions you throw in a game like this. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And with an eight-point lead, probably not too much of an impetus to try and do too much here. A first down run by Barkley, unsuccessful, as he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So we have come upon halftime of this Pro Bowl with the NFC on top of the AFC. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Oh, the return is Henderson. And he returns this to the 22. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half... They didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Vaughn Miller in there to bury him for a loss of 11. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. And some room to work. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The 
defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. A very nice job right there, working in the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Brady flushed out right. Open man is Waddle complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Barkley. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. They'll roll him out right. Gets this one to use check. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, 29 yards. And the NFC able to widen their advantage. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The AFC offense set to take their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Meanwhile, Jackson still pulled in by Schwartz. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson now. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Nick Bosa in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way take some time off the clock and keep the ball away from their opponents. Now this one has been fun so far as the Pro Bowl usually is. A lot of relaxed faces out there. Second and ten. Now Brady. That's to Waddle on the quick slam. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, 
they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and five. On play action, it's Brady. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for the touchdown. But we keep waiting year after year to see signs of Tom Brady's arm strength deteriorating. But his message there, keep waiting. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield. And you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. The offense for the AFC set to go now. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining pro. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Play action. Now it's Brady. And his throw here is incomplete. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead. But I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot. Touchdown! Five touchdown passes now for Tom Brady. And the NFC, they take advantage of the interception. They turn it into six points. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. offense set to take their next drive and last time wasn't pretty one play and an interception we'll see if they can do better i want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked off by fabian moreau and he will bring this all the way back out to midfield well, just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception, and this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. On first down, Barkley, and good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brady going to throw. Being chased out left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. 
Picked off, Byron Jones. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To throw is Jackson. Touchdown! That's caught. Travis Kelsey from 17 yards out. And the AFC takes advantage of the interception and they turn it into six. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but the turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think they might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Von Miller able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Flush to his right. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. Jackson's throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Touchdown! Miko Hardman, 48 yards. And the AFC takes advantage of the interception and they turn it into six. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw a football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. They'll run. It's Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys. Two yards, good enough for first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Brady's throw there complete. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold-up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the AFC going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he is in. Touchdown, NFC. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from seven yards away. And the NFC adds on to their lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense for the AFC set to go now. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy who was ruled out. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. They'll run on first down. Barkley, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Elliott, toss right. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Brady. This one caught by Kittle. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the 5-yard line. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts?